you used the community and, and you um, identified Pakistanis that wanted to come back to uh, work with you on your startup, right? Yes. You leveraged the community to... Um, no, certainly. To, can you speak a little to that? Yeah. So, I mean, everything is about a community, right? I mean, it, it's the connections you make and how you maintain them and what they think of you, right? So, in that particular case, I researched the offshore software development models and I, I came to the conclusion that I would requ require people with high skills and an understanding of the US market to lead the teams back in Pakistan. That was, at that time, it was a novel idea. Now, tons of companies do that. So, so, so that's what I did. I came and used my own high school, and I had tons of people from years past, before me and after me, who were in the US, working in, in top jobs, having graduated from Ivy League schools, etc. that I recruited. Cool, and then how, how did your community change? Did you, as you launched company after company, what type of communities did you join? So I've always, uh, you know, um, been involved in community building in high school and college. So I mean, and I never thought about why I was doing it. It was just something that I enjoyed. So I continued on that path, and uh, in Colorado, I've been very involved in many nonprofits. I was uh, uh, Colorado Technology Association mm -hmm. is our largest trade body for tech companies. I was vice chair for two years, chairman for two years. Colorado Association of Manufacturing and Technology, now called Manufacturers Edge, uh, I am the current chairman of uh, STEM Academy that uh, uh, that operates a STEM school. I'm, I'm also chairman of the board. I've been on, on many non-profit boards. ICAST, which is a organization that does sustainable development, uh, I've been on that board for a long time. Uh, been on board of some children's charities and, and some. Um, uh, Thai, which is the largest non-profit yeah. in the world, focused on fostering entrepreneurship. Until December, I was on the Global Board of Trustees, wow. and I'm also one of the founders of the local chapter here in Colorado. Very, very cool. Uh, and let's take a second. Could you tell the Shakers what Thai Rockies is? So, so as I just said, Thai, uh, you can look it up, Thai.org, T-I-E.org is the largest non-profit in the world focused on fostering entrepreneurship. We've got chapters in 60 different, over 60 different cities across the globe, and their annual conference has over 4,000 entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley, and that's where it really started. Uh, and so uh, myself and a few other colleagues here in Colorado started this chapter for Thai, which is called Thai Rockies in the year 2000, and really has grown to be a very robust, sound organization uh, Molly is our executive director here and Keith Larson is an excellent president today for the organization and we have a great board and uh, we do a number of things. We, we, we do uh, uh, five or six programs a month and which include uh, pr uh, bringing in uh, inspirational entrepreneurial leaders that, uh, that can inspire uh, aspiring entrepreneurs.